Good evening everybody and welcome back to Micron Engine and Machine. My name is Mike Micron. Tonight we have quite the treat. We're going to be putting valve seat inserts into a cylinder head for a Honda CB77. This is much like putting seats in anything else but just kind of an unusual head. We don't get these every day. So we're all set up here. Everything's dialed in. So we're going to do what we always do. set our dial indicator up here on top and now we know how deep to go so let's do it doing here is a no lead conversion. That's where we tend to put most seats in. Customers want to run older vehicles on no lead fuel and this is the way to do it. The seat rings that we're going to put in are compatible with unleaded fuel and that will let the customer go ahead and be able to use his antique motorcycle. Alright, on to the second seat, and once again, we go ahead and set up here, let the work head float for about a six count, make sure we're centered in the guide, and we are, and here we go, we touch off, we got our zero mark, go ahead and set our dial indicator up here, got our counter bores machined, we remove the milling head, clean up the chips and then we can press we can press the seat into the counter bore. So we're gonna go ahead and go off camera here for a bit and vacuum up the chips, clean everything up, and then we can press the seats in. Stay tuned. This is kind of an interesting head. As you can see, it's a two-cylinder air-cooled head, and it has cast-in, cast-iron bowls for the combustion chamber. You can see the difference in materials right here. Uh, don't know why Honda did that, but I've done several heads like this and they all seem to be the same. It's uh, cast iron. It's from the, I believe, the 60s. So certainly is not compatible with no lead fuel. So that's why the customer needs us to put seats in and now he can run modern gasoline. The seats that we're going to use uh, again, SBI brand, they're compatible with no lead fuel and they work out real well. They machine well and that's really what we like. Another nice feature of these seats 
is the manufacturer puts a radius on the bottom so when we go ahead and install them there's really no fear of, of scraping material from the side of the counter bore. Uh, we've had some questions about that but these already have uh, a radius so that's not going to happen. So now just like any other seat we'll press them in and then we can cut our three angles and get on with the job. You can tell by the sound when the seat bottoms. And here we are. One more. Okay, the seats are installed. The inside radiuses line up really nice so now all we need to do is machine our three angles set our valve tip height on the other side and do the intakes resurface ahead and reassemble stay tuned